I've been at TCT Formnext last week where I visited the Berlin filament manufacturer 3DK Berlin. They told me about a nozzle cleaning filament they sell which is called 3D Clean. I have a nozzle from my Prusa in a drawer which I ruined quite a while ago with some ABS degenerating in it. The guys were so kind and gave me a sample of their filament which I will today try out on one of these ruined nozzles. Guten Tag everybody, I'm Stefan and welcome to CNC Kitchen. Quite a while ago I printed some ABS on my Prusa which somehow jammed and the part of the material which remained in the hot zone for quite a while presumably degenerated. It's actually quite common that filament degenerates if it is heated too long, which can happen during jams, if you print too hot or walk with layers that are too thin or if you print just very slowly. After restarting the print, the nozzle clogged right away and when I tried to clean the nozzle with numerous cold pulls, I wasn't able to get it working again. The material extruded for a bit and then at some point a bit of residue started to release and screwed up the print. At that time I replaced the nozzle with a new one and set the old one aside. Talking to the guys from 3DK Berlin, I got the idea that this would be a great test for their 3D clean filament. They gave me a sample which I tried out as soon as I came back from Formnext 2017. I installed the old nozzle on my Prusa and printed a test banshee. Just as expected, from time to time some parts of residue started to release from the inside of the nozzle and caused problems during printing, which was hearable by a clicking noise and also the banshee showed severe under extrusion in some areas. The print did continue but then finally totally failed at some point. I manually extruded some more filament which revealed another symptom of a dirty nozzle. The filament did not extrude consistently and the extruded material did not flow straight down but made a bend right after it came out of the nozzle. Consider trying that out yourself. After the nozzle was cooled down, I performed another cold pull, which is the method I usually use when I change my filaments, because it helps me getting rid of old filament residues as efficiently as possible. For PLA and an original Prusa i3, you start by heating up the nozzle and as soon as it reaches a temperature of around 70 degrees, you pull the filament while supporting the extruder, so you don't damage anything. If everything works out, you should have a perfect imprint of the internal surfaces of your nozzle. This also works with ABS and nylon, but requires higher temperatures to perform the method. The imprint of my dirty nozzle looked horribly, because it was full of black residues, which obviously will degenerate your prints at some point. With no filament in my printer, I started with the cleaning process. 3D Clean uses a similar method that is also applied when injection molding machines are cleaned. There you use cleaning pellets, whereas 3DK Berlin provides a filament for a 3D printer. I set the nozzle to a temperature of 230 degrees and inserted the 3DK Berlin filament in my printer just like any other filament. If you have a Bowden style printer, then remove the Bowden tube at the hot end and feed it manually until it starts coming out of the nozzle. Feed as much filament into your hot end as you need to get rid of any remaining old filament. Now just wait for 5 minutes. At some point you will see bubbles coming out of the nozzle which is totally normal and is just the cleaning filament working. I fed some more material into the nozzle, let it cook again for 5 minutes and repeated the process a couple of more times. Then I removed the cleaning filament and put regular PLA back into the printer. The filament extrusion was very consistently again and the banshee came out perfect, without clicking or under extrusion, so the procedure seems to have worked well. The cold pulls I did after the first test print were not 100% clean, but way better than all the other ones I did before. I might repeat the cleaning procedure again to get everything shiny and new. If you also have problems with dirty nozzles from time to time, then check out the 3D clean material that 3DK Berlin is selling. Obviously this will not work if your nozzle is totally clogged, but if you only have a ton of degenerated material in it, might be a good solution to get your printer up and running again. If this video helped you out, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Consider supporting me on Patreon and take a look at the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, auf Wiedersehen and I will see you next time.